Hi everyone. Hey. In this video, we're going to be fitting our little side windows at the back of the van up here. Yeah, we've got two the same, one for this side, one for the other side. Hopefully, gonna, yeah. it's going to look pretty awesome when it's done. So we're trying to get this in the right place because it's tricky because we obviously haven't built the bed and stuff inside and we want it to be uh, just a little bit higher than the bed so when we're lying in bed we can look out the window but not right at the very back of the van. So that looks pretty good. We couldn't really visualise it without having some kind of setup where our bed slash mattress would be. So we've just rigged up this sort of tripod situation and got three um, metal stands going along here and then an old door. Hopefully it's strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> right. <Okay>. So... <laughs> if this collapses now, it'll be pretty painful I reckon. Don't drop it. Kind of look up, look out the window, go back to sleep. And what we're trying to avoid is obviously we're building this a lot, well we're building this a lot before we're um, going to build the bed. So we don't want to put the window in and then find when we build the bed like the windows because we, we have seen some pictures where it's where people yeah, have had that, that. that would be a bit yeah <laughs> so first thing we're just going to make a template of the hole we need to cut out so we're just going to draw around it on the cardboard that it came in and one thing we just need to make sure is we get the uh the hole coming up to this lip and obviously not this one otherwise it's just going to fall through and not grip anything but this bit goes on the outside of the van Unfortunately, this one isn't a case where you can just lay it flat and draw around it because it's got a stepped sort of outline here. So I'm just going to lay it flat and draw around this inner ring and then we've just measured to the outside ring and then we'll just add it on. Okay, we've got our template cut out now. We did cut out just the inner piece, and then we realised it would actually maybe be quite helpful to have the outer piece as well. So we redid it again for that. So we cut the inner piece out, and then we just turned it over. We put the, you know this bit on here, and then turned it over and cut around that bit. So now we've got the outer piece. And the reason we've done that is so that now when we put this on there, so we know that this hole fits. With the outer piece, we can see exactly what the profile is going to be like on this side. Because we don't want to go too far up to there, make it really awkward to cut, and also look a bit odd probably. So we're probably just going to bring it down about here, somewhere like that. Now we just got to double check exactly where it's going to go because obviously this window can float around but it can only really do it once. We've measured equidistant from these pillars just to make it easier when we transfer it over to the other side and just measured down the same from the top. So we think that is pretty good. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just take this middle piece in there and then we're going to drill through from this side so that we can then transfer this template onto the outside and just final check to make sure we're happy with it before we actually cut out the hole. Tim's just putting two drill bits in so that we can now take this cardboard off, put it on the other side and see if it's in the right place. So bright on the van, I can barely see <laughs> So we've just made it so that the cardboard was sitting on the same edge as it was on the inside. Here we are. All right. All right, so we've just moved it up by about a centimetre and a half just to be on the safe side. It just didn't look quite right in our heads. So that's how it will look towards the end. I think we're pretty good to go. 8.6. I think that's pretty straight now. Cool, now we just got to cut it straight as well. <laughs> right, there we are. There is a window. Ooh. Don't want to drop that. Okay.
All right, so just drilling our pilot holes to begin with. Hopefully not falling off the ladder. Okay. We have some holes. Gobbles up the line. Awesome. All right, that's the whole cup. Let's just try a dry fit. Come on. Will it go in first time? Trying. It's pretty snug. Is it going in? Um, not quite. Let's see from the inside. So close. Just nibbled another mill, not much, off the top edge. And then, three now. Nice. Go. Awesome. And he's just going along now and just painting on some hammerite just to touch up all the bare metal edges. And we've decided for this one, we're not going to put the trim on. Uh, we're going to be boxing around it on the inside anyway. Um, and it's nice and flush without it. So we're just going to leave it like this, just treat it and then get to sticking it on. Okay, so Tim's just giving the glass a last clean. Surprising how dirty it gets actually. Yeah, I think it's quite important this bit. And then uh, we're going to whack the primer on. Nearly done. Fitting windows is a good workout, but it's nice to be doing it when it's not dark this time. <laughs> Makes a big difference. Remembered gloves this time. We were doing the last one, we had a whole spill of this going down the van, which is interesting. It does come off though, just to give it a work. as well. It's pretty much right up against the edge of this, so I want this to drip. There's a bit more around here. Trying to avoid going over it twice. Okay, that'll do. Well done. So this is the second window we've done now, done that one obviously, and that one was really hard, mainly because we couldn't get the um, Dynatrol stuff, adhesive for the window, out of the tube. We did warm it up, so obviously it says to do if it's a cold day, just warm it up, but it still was really, really hard. And you can see like we were practicing on this cardboard, the difference here, like this is um, a bead we tried to get out and there's, you know, it's just not good, there's breaks in it and this is going to cause us problems and we did actually have a leak in that window which is almost certainly because of stuff like this. And then we realised that there is actually differences in corking guns, which just didn't think to check at the time. But uh, this Dynatrol stuff is really um, high viscosity, so it's really hard to flow. So we've been using this for um, uh, like Sikaflex and other sealants and stuff like that and it's been fine. Crank it down here. It's a bit stiff this one, so otherwise we'll do that. If I just uh, try and squeeze this one, I'm really squeezing as hard as I can. And this is what it was like the other day. <laughs> we were trying to do it in the dark at 10 o'clock at night, and it's barely you can see it's out. barely moving, and my hands, you know, going to fall off. It's really, really hard work. Um, same tube, same conditions. Let's swap this out. So we bought another gun. It's only a tenner or so over a tenner but so it's specifically designed for like thick gunk right so this time just crank it down and I mean I can feel the difference already with it coming out and this this tube hasn't been warmed so it's still kind of hard but you can see how it just kind of flows out this time still hard work because it's been cold but 
hell of a lot of difference from that one. So yeah, if you're going to do one of these windows, you might want to check that you've got a gun that's got a lot of power in it as well. And so hopefully this time, you're going to get a nice bead like that all the way around. It won't have problems. It's coming out so much easier this time. There's no way I would have do this, been able to do this before. It does look a lot smoother. Very good. Kind of weird black Toblerone. <laughs> Tim has got the V shape of the nozzle facing away from him. So there's one continuous line. <laughs> Hopefully there's one continuous line. I think that's Almost how you're there. supposed to do it. How's that? It's looking really good. Might just need to feather those two together, I think. It's a lot better than it was last time, hopefully. <laughs> won't leak. Oh, give my hand a rest. Not bad at all. Moment of truth. Let's check it's the right way around. Yep. It's definitely the right way around, isn't <laughs> yes. it? So now I just pop this in. Cheers. Bit tricky. Go away, bugs. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Pretty hard to tell. It is. I know. I'm going in. Okay. So that is one window in. We've just spent a little bit of time just going around and tidying up the edges because the adhesive tends to like to uh, squidge out the sides a little bit but I think that's good. pretty happy with that. Now on to the next one. Take stickers off. So pretty much all of the boards have now fallen off onto the floor. Even uh, the ones in the back, you can see our little smiley face there. It's come back. Hello, smiley face. And these ones are just 25 mil, really light, had four on, they've been capped off properly, and uh, I mean this one's still on, but you can see this one, just fallen right off. So, yeah, it's a bit annoying, we're going to have to redo that. Two steps forward, one step back, as we're experiencing with a lot of things. We've got a new box of stick pins, we're going to try again, and uh, see how that goes. Fingers crossed, it'll be the last time we see you, Mr Smiley Face. Alright, so it's the next day. We're going to get on and do this window today. Uh, hopefully it should go a little bit quicker because we've already got the template and everything and we sort of know what we're doing now, so yeah. So for the second window on the passenger side, what we've basically done is just got the same template and we've just measured the um, distance of the actual window hole now that it's in uh, down to the hole and we've just tried as best as we can to uh, recreate that here. It's obviously tricky because the cardboard moves around a bit with the tape and stuff, but close enough that is where it is, so uh, now we're just going to use the same holes we did drill through and then transfer it to the other side and draw around it again. Checking out the window, it's pretty good. I think it's a good team effort, though. It's not too bad. I am glad, though. This is probably the last hole we have to cut in the van. Well, well the last big last hole. Last big hole. <laughs> yeah, it is a big hole. I'm not a fan of doing that, I have to say. It's going through these bits that is the tricky part. Yeah. Crack on, then. Nice. It's first time this time. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Not quite getting my head out of this one. No, I wouldn't try. It's quite sharp. <laughs> nice. Unless you want a new haircut. 
got a hammer item here yesterday. window going in. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. This is the window that Tim put the sealant on. So we're just going to see if it's watertight. Go for it. Ready? Yep. Nothing so far. Okay. I think we're all right, you know. I think so. Oh. This would be so embarrassing if mine fails and yours doesn't. Okay, let's do it. Please be okay, please be okay. How's that? I think it's alright. I think that is the result. High five. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good uh, to learn from the big one. My heart is going. <laughs> like the clappers. Really, have to cut out multiple windows I really did not want to have to do these again. Well, good. Okay. Do with that. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe below. We'll see you next time.